There is. Hey, Paul. Hey, Deb. How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? Pretty good. I'm, I'm slowly uh, getting through my list for the spring. So oh, I'm feeling, God. feeling better. It's uh, a lot of, uh, lot of work. Yes. So I went on the trail and I saw the first, anyway, of your directional signs. They look great. Of course, the birds oh, flew on them, but they look good. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> the birds seem to like them a lot. Wretched but, little yeah, things. did you see the see the part? Did you see the parking area too, Deb? Did you see the flowers and the oh, I know and everything. Boy, I was thinking I would love one of those pots, but I thought, well, I probably shouldn't take it. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh. add it to that Christmas wreath that you that you got stowed away. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that was that. such a nice wreath. Uh, it was. It wasn't it a beauty. So, yeah. No, so far, so good. No one's bothered them, and I have all the um, yeah. I got the mulch pile pushed off into the side. The one I'm not yep. going to use, and then the other one I'll I'll get through throughout the year. The one that I'm not using, I I was going to mention it. Not, it's got all uh, sunflower seeds in it right now. Uh huh. Oh, and I wanted to ask you about the lawnmower. Does Pat have that? You had given him a lawnmower? Hello, Becca. Hi, how are you? All right, how are you? Good, thank I you. I see your ceiling lamp. I know, I'm trying to fix that a little bit, but we'll see. Yeah. But, you know, we're trying to get kids onto calls at the same time as mm -hmm. this, so I might just mute oh. and bail for half a second mm -hmm. to get that done. <laughs> How are you? Good. Good. I'm Enjoying glad. the weather. Gee. Yes, finally. I'll take the no snow. Yeah. Where is our CJ and our Pat? Maybe Pat's putting up the kiosk sign. Uh, <laughs> we can hold. Oh, here comes Pat. And is it Ron? Yes, Ronnie. Hello, Ronnie. Hi, Ronnie. I'm Deborah. Oh, there's CJ. I know that molding.
Do you think CJ knows she's inaudible? Her lips are moving. Another minute, I'm going to get my knitting. Oh, I know that thumb. Do you have your audio on, Pat? I do now. Oh, good. <laughs> Is that your punch list? Is yeah, you your... can see that. Yeah. yeah. It's getting longer. I can't imagine why. <laughs> Mainly because of you, I think. No, I haven't done a thing. <laughs> you and Paul. That's the problem. <laughs> the mowing looks great out there, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I've had, I've had a few. I took I took my little oh, hand mower out and I mowed the mane. I mowed the kiosk around, and the, around the, kiosk? the trees and everything yesterday. Oh great! Yeah, oh, just because the big mower. Yeah, it takes that. the big mower can't get around it, so I mowed I mowed all the main areas. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, I got to get out and do Murdoch tomorrow. Did you Did you guys decide what you're doing with those trees, Paul? Oh, uh, our, <laughs> I was thinking. I was thinking, Pat. Isn't it when we have a volunteer day coming up or something? Could I just throw them to the volunteers? And they could just them point? forever. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty. Yeah. They're just, well, they're just they're all deer. They're deer. They're, they're deer resistant seedlings, so they could just put them. They don't need to protect them or put a cage on. They could just plant them anywhere they felt like. That they're pretty easy to stick in the ground with a tiny okay. spade or something. Yeah, that'd be good. What kind are they? Yeah, they're just sitting up under a pine tree and I said right now, so. Uh-huh. No. no. That's cute. I'll just bring, I'll just bring them by the barn with the corner there with everything else. Okay. Turn up or down. Volume with this. Okay. Here we go. We have your computer experts. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah, your right. IT person. Yes. It took a little while to get to get my IT person to help me get this going. <laughs> it wasn't working on my my office computer, but we're moving. The office tomorrow so things are unorganized so my daughter's giving me her her laptop instead ah good for her cj nice hi everybody put your things on there she is there we go hi yeah i think my telecommunications devices are just completely overloaded 
just can't think. No mas. <laughs> How are y'all? Hey. Bye. Nice to, to meet you via Zoom here. Well, thanks all for coming. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late. Just trying to, uh, yeah. Okay, you guys got the packet and everything. Okay, I'm, I'm sure, huh? Yeah. Yep. Okay, great. Uh, so, some somebody call us to order here. Isn't that you? Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, <laughs> so um, uh, we'll call uh, this meeting of Parks, Recreation, and Trails Advisory Committee to order. Um, I looks like I'm recording to the cloud, so we'll have a copy of this in case um, anyone would like to uh, look at it afterwards, and we'll uh, send a link. Uh, somebody, uh, somebody, uh, somebody. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, who, who is this? I'm going to go ahead and mute them. I think that's <laughs> Katrina. Oh, wait, Katrina. We don't want to mute Katrina. I, I don't think hers is working very well. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, well, we don't want to lose her. Um, okay, so um, first, any modifications to the agenda? I think it's pretty important. What was the agenda? Wasn't it just to look over the proposal again? Uh, yeah, more or less. It uh, looks like um, we're just. Um, oh. Oh, there we go. Streaming here. One second. Okay, yeah, so comments on revised draft, comments on the motion for consideration by the town board, and then the IthacaTrails.org um, update. Let's turn this on. Just trying to stream us. Hold on just a moment. Just in case anyone out there might be interested in the Town of Lansing Parks, Recreation, and Trails Advisory Committee, we'll go ahead and uh, put this on YouTube. Okay, so um, hopefully you got a chance to take a look at the Please. request for a proposal um, and kind of share your philosophy or ideas about whether you want to actually um, release the RFP as written or whether you'd like to make some changes to it um, in light of the current COVID-19 uh, situation. Um, I'll say this. I we have a similar concurrent process running, albeit with a construction project versus a plan, right? This would be a master plan solicitation for consultants for a master plan. Um, but we're doing a, a concurrent RFP for the highway department renovation project. And there is an infinite, nearly limitless interest in that project. I was not anticipating uh, hearing back from dozens of architectural and engineering firms um, about that project. So, um, I think in some ways this, you know, maybe a philosophical discussion um, because uh, the question of whether government should be spending money during an economic contraction, I think, of course, is, um, you know, depends on your viewpoints and how you think those, um, you know, that spending reverberates throughout a community. Uh, that said, uh, this project is more or less funded. I think um, Pat might be able to speak to this, but the town board has been consistently putting away money um, in the fund specifically for this type of planning project for some time. So as far as I can see, the money is allocated and it might really be a good time um, to, to move forward with this. That said, if you didn't um, want to necessarily support the motion, uh, which was attached to the email, and I'll bring that up uh, just so we can all see it and be on the same page. Um, this motion would authorize the issuance of the RFP that we've been looking at. Uh, subject to changes in the uh, timeline and the submission deadline at the, the discretion of uh, myself and Pat. And I anticipate that the um, town board will be considering that at their um, regular meeting tomorrow evening. So this is kind of the opportunity to decide as a committee, you know, whether to step back 
um, and not issue the RFP or whether you know you're ready to forge ahead and in what capacity do you want to receive um, paper submissions um, you know those can be at a significant cost for firms to prepare and distribute obviously you know shipping those and packing them and all that good stuff um, you know cost money printing etc binding uh, but at the same time, it might be useful for committee members to be able to actually have hard copies of those versus digital. Um, so, yeah, I kind of would like to open it up for discussion, see if there's any additional changes you want to see made to the RFP and if you want it to actually issue and if you're ready, um, you know, to to start on this process, even if it's, you know, going to be remote here and there. I think it's a great time to start on something productive. So I would see no reason to hold back. So I just have a question, um, a clarifying question. The money that is like, the money that's been set aside, to what extent is it sort of officially earmarked for trails development? And to what extent, like, is it just sort of, I don't want to say goodwill, but sort of this is what we would like to do in an ideal economic circumstance, but it would get absorbed differently. Can you just explain that? Um, sure. And Pat, if you'd like to also, uh, you know, follow up on this, um, if I could, um, I'll just go ahead and uh, swap over to the resolution. Uh, so um, this resolution back in uh, 2017 approved and authorized the creation of a capital reserve fund. So this is a very specific line item within the town budget, uh, specifically for parklands, trailway planning and development related land use rights acquisitions, uh, equipment, etc. So um, I'm not sure exactly the fund balance at this time, I would have to go back and take a look. But the goal was essentially to reserve uh, up to $150,000 by saving a designated budget every year and making periodic. Um, it's it's uh, like around $30,000 right now. Okay, yes, and they've done, I think with this year it was up to 45, right? 40, uh, 17, 18, 19. I think it might be up to 45,000 so far, but maybe I might, might have uh, not be, um, I'm completely sure about that. I, I can check that out. Uh, but nevertheless, um, that's the resolution that says this is what the town intends to do. Um, so I'm not sure if that's helpful. But I can also. So it is helpful. I guess it, you know, maybe, and just correct me if I've got this confused at all. It seemed as if the plan that we were saying, the plan, the RFP we were issuing said that the budget was $94,000, but it doesn't sound like we have that $94,000. Is that correct? Yeah, that, that's correct. Um, but the point I mean, is already uh, earmarked, I guess, is what I, I would say. Uh, yeah, let me go to that section in the budget. Um, do you recall the budget line item for that, Pat? I feel like it was, I will pull it up real quick. Without the budget in front of me, but it's. Let me see. It was near the top. So it was part C um, in our RFP draft. So section one oh, yes. C. Yeah, the I'm sorry, the project budget. Yeah, has been articulated. With okay, sorry. RFP. Yeah, okay. absolutely. And so the let's figure out how much. Hold on just a second, and let's see. Well, while you're looking for that, I guess just the, the reason I was asking is because I think, like Deb said, this is a fantastic time to be making sure that trails are available of all the things that that a community can do right now. This is the thing that is one of the safest activities and options. Like I, I think in terms of developing something for our community to use, I think that's wonderful. I was just asking about the budget questions because I think you raise an important point. You know, what are the options? obviously the optics of developing a trail system would be one that is inclusive and makes it available to everyone. And so I wondered how much money was earmarked and then, you know, is this cutting into something else? Like I'm very much in favor of moving forward, assuming that it all kind of works 
financially, which right now is sort of a funny thing to say at all. No, but I guess that was my reason for asking about mm -hmm. the budget and sort of what That's what strains it place on on the town. Yeah, and that's an excellent question, and, and thanks for following up with that. I think it's under, um, Pat, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's A7110.400R, four maybe? That's not right. That's not right. No. Okay. Um, but nevertheless, in the scheme of the entire um, town budget, um, you know, this project is essentially at this point more than half already funded as far as i'm aware i i wanted to say there was forty five thousand dollars already put away for this for some reason with this year's appropriation mm -hmm. uh, i think it, this I is mean, ronnie excuse me uh the, another consideration to, to take into account is that the more trails and parks and spaces you have open if you had all of those open at this point, there would be larger spaces for people to go walk with separation and it would be healthy for mm -hmm. them. I mean, there, there are some other considerations besides just the money spent. It's the money you, uh, you basically get back from having healthier residents. Mm -hmm. So don't forget about that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of the entire a municipal budget, um, you know, I don't think this is going to make or break us in one way or the other. Um, but that said, you know, if you were concerned about the timing of that, um, you know, we wanted to consider that um, in terms of a recommendation to the town board. So, um, you know, what we'd really be looking for from the committee today is just, um, you know, a motion to, um, you know, recommend that um, motion, the motion that the town board will make to allow um, Pat and I to, to release the RFP as you see fit. No, and right. I think it would be wonderful really to have this. <laughs> yeah, I agree with everyone. I think that the, the, the community has definitely seen the value of these types of open spaces throughout the pandemic. And, and, and in addition to that, I think the timing of the RFP, people are are willing to talk and have the time to talk via virtually and remotely and with proper social distancing obviously but have the uh, capacity and the, maybe maybe even the time hopefully to talk about uh, things like this with the uh, planners and the, and the potential uh, bidders on the projects. I think also with um, kids not in school and with some of the summer programs not operating, I think people will really begin to see the value of the programs that Parks and Recs put together and say, you know, we, these are really important absolutely. to the community. Yep, absolutely, Deb, yep. I think it's a, it's a wonderful time to be able to move forward on this, yeah. You want a motion? Oh, and, no. Were there any questions, uh, further questions about the budget? I'm not sure that we fully articulated that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we have at least half of that set aside already. Yeah, we, do, we definitely have at least half of the, the total number set aside. I, it's in a reserve fund, so it's not in the budget right in front of us, unfortunately. <laughs> But it is, there is half of it there. So, I mean, if we don't use it, it's not going to go away. It's still going to be in a reserve fund earmarked for this project. So it's, it's, it's not going anywhere. And then uh, in addition, because the timeline's been pushed back a little bit, this will probably run into 2021 and 2022. And if there's an additional $15,000 for each of those years, um, you know, we can certainly include that number in the budget. So that would be what, 75,000. If there's things that you think, um, you know, we should trim from the plan in terms of our request to the consultants, we could probably shave uh, some of that down to get to that number. Um, if it would be more comfortable for the committee, um, 
I anticipate this will be a pretty robust plan at this price point, which I think is really what the town yeah. seems to be looking for, at least in my understanding. I think it's a pretty big scope of work um, to ask, um, you know, consultants to take on. Um, but that said, there is a lot of interest in the plan, uh, or in, you know, I think there will be interest uh, in this project going forward. I've already heard from a couple firms, like completely the unsolicited, uh, saying, you know, if you have uh, parks projects or playgrounds or things like that, you know, keep us on your radar. So. Um, uh, that's kind of the next piece is, you know, once we issue this, um, if there are any firms you think, and I think a couple of you have sent me um, ideas of people to circulate this to, uh, we'll also put it out on New York State Contract Reporter, which will, of course, uh, you know, bring out pretty much everyone. Um, you know, we'll get probably a lot of responses from that too. Um, so, all right, so sorry. Uh, Jack, you were um, going on with the motion. I, well, I, was, I, was, I was thinking we should make a motion to go ahead and, and get this thing over to the town board and try to see if they're willing to go with it. I mean, I don't think we need, uh, I think electronic submissions fine. The okay. timetable okay. looked fine. Um, you know, it's, it, uh, you know I, I, I think you've done a great job on it and it's, it's hopefully ready to get out there. Can, can I just yeah. pick one nit? <laughs> I know CJ expects it on page six when you have approach to the project, 50 points. When you look at the subsections, they add up to 60. Uh huh. Ooh, bad math. Oh, thanks, Katrina. Good, good catch. Yeah, oh, I love good copy editing. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's. I can't ahead. think so big, but I can, I could add. <laughs> <laughs> Would there, would there be any advantage to presenting the motion to the town board and then if they say, well, that's too much coming back to us and seeing if we can trim? I mean, I'd rather not try to trim now and see if the town board will say, yes, let's do this. Yeah, I'm happy to send it as is. Um, I think that'd probably be the best course of action. I mean, the, yeah. I think the committee has um really put a lot of emphasis on to you know developing this scope um you know i'm assuming that this is really what the town wants and you know i don't know how much taxpayer savings we'll really get by you know taking 10 or fifteen thousand dollars out of the budget i don't think um you know that's going to be a significant um advantage to taxpayers um, you know, I think we're trying to get the highest quality products, um, you know, for the money that has been, you know, kind of long allocated by the board. So, uh, are we trying to get this on the agenda for tomorrow night? Uh, it's already on the agenda for it tomorrow is. night. Okay. Uh, yes, I asked well, I Deb. Like to old, uh, I did ask Deb to um, essentially place it on the con the the agenda, but not the consent agenda, so that I could give a direct report to the town board on what your recommendation is right now, but so as not to forestall the process another month, because I know we had missed <laughs> meetings. So I didn't want to, if there was momentum, I wanted to be able to, you know, capture that and, and pass the essence of that onto the town board as desired by the committee. So, so obviously, if, if the motion passes in a couple seconds, then it's going to the town board <laughs> tomorrow night. So this could be approved tomorrow night. That's correct. Cool. Was that your voice, Katrina? It was. Hello. <laughs> I've got two computers and the, neither of them are working fully, so I'm on my phone. Okay. We, we noticed. <laughs> we had a reverb there for a minute. <laughs> okay, so let me just... Um, let me just make those that change now. Um, could we just briefly, um, if I could put this on the screen, if we could just roll through it once more. Uh, I feel good about that before we hit send. Uh, so just to kind of highlight the main uh, pieces here, project budget, which we just discussed, um, request for a proposal released, presumably uh, at the end of this week, uh, with questions due, proposal deadline, Friday, July 10th. Um, 
this committee would uh, act as the review committee for selecting a consultant. Uh, so let's go down to that project approach. Uh, so Deb, is this where you're saying that issue was, was the project approach 50 points? Yeah. Okay, yeah, these don't add up to 50 points. Okay. And also, um, so did you say that you were comfortable with changing to an all digital process or did you want to keep paper copies as part of this? I'm fine with digital. I'm okay. fine. I'd like them to, I, if we could come up with a Dropbox or something so that we don't have huge files if they're going to be sent in via email. That's a great idea. Yeah, we'll find an easy way to share these with you probably on OneDrive. Um, okay. Yeah. And um, uh, so we'll change this cost proposal piece to be more in line with um, uh, asking them to just submit a separate um, docu PDF document that has their cost proposal in it. Uh, because obviously no one's going to be sending any envelope. So yeah. There's no separate envelope to open with a cost proposal in it. We'll just ask them to append it as a separate PDF. And, you know, uh, just because we want the board, I think, to focus on the quality of the proposal um, and not necessarily the price point. I mean, some might come slightly over the budget, some might be slightly under, but we want to help you really select a firm based on its merits, although the cost proposal will. Um, you know, make a difference. At the same time, would you uh, prefer just to have them include the cost proposal within the um, within the their actual full proposal? Uh, we can do that too, um, and see. You know, um, if we're maybe too low um, in terms of what we've budgeted. I think if we don't want to see the cost, we can not look at it. And if we're interested in the cost before we look at the quality, we can look at it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, and it's not really hard to separate that out, but we could just yeah. ask to have that as a separate document and then you could look at it if you, if you wish. Um, and so you guys will be the evaluation committee. All right. So is this the, where we're finding the issue here? Um, project approach was 50 points, uh, but we didn't quite have that um, correct up here. Is that right? You're I know how, that? how to get it to 50. I think you can eliminate two of the subsets under that um, on page six. You maybe, could, this is, maybe number nine is a little snarky. No, well, I'd take five and six out, so you get 10 points away. Okay. That's like Okay, you're going to do this. How can you do more than you, than you say you're going to do? Um, those to me are saying both the same thing. And it's like, that, that sounds like a place for fluff, fluff, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, I can do more than we said we'd do. I do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard the feeling then. No fluff here. <laughs> All right, so oh. I uh, eliminated five and six, um, uh, and then we have, uh, okay, so now we're at, let's see, 10, 15, 20, 35, 45, 50. Okay, all right, great. Uh, nice work, Deb. <laughs> way to go, hey, Deb. I okay. aim high. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's very helpful. I mean, copy editing is everything. Um, okay, and so Friday, July 10th, are we all feeling good about being able to um, make a decision sometime between, you know, July and August uh, to make a recommendation to the town board? Um, let's scroll back up here to the consultant timeline here. Your August board date is uh, August 19th. Yeah. Uh, so we anticipate then that we would have a meeting uh, probably July 21st right or you know shortly thereafter hopefully we can get them to everyone on the afternoon of the 10th so that you have about a week and a half to review them before the July committee meeting 
Uh, and then if you'd like, we could have a little bit earlier meeting perhaps again in August uh, to just make a final decision uh, on the consultant's um, selection uh, the week of the third. I figured we could actually invite them to our meeting. Is that gonna work for everyone more or less? I canceled my trip to Italy. Yeah. And my trip to New Zealand, my trip to Australia, I'll be around. Oh. Yeah, none of us are going anywhere. <laughs> I know. Right. Um, oh, I know. I I'm supposed to be going to Alaska. And I don't think that's happening. Oh, no. Uh, Ooh. Well, I've been already. I guess I can't complain too much. But, oh. uh, uh, yeah, so the week of the third, I'm thinking that we'll have interviews with folks uh, and then be prepared to make a recommendation to the town board. You know, so that might be a couple weeks where we might need a little more, you know, hands on from this committee to just okay. kind of come to yeah. a decision. So if we could, you know, just kind of hold a couple hours in your calendar, you know, the week of the third and the week of the 10th um, to be able to really, uh, you know, just come to a decision on which consultants you'd like. Now, if this ends up going to September where we select a consultant, that's okay too. You know, we want you to, if you still have outstanding questions or are torn, you know, between a bunch of candidates the week of the third and 10th, you know, please don't feel pressure to rush and make a decision. We can always, you know, another month is not, um, you know, although I don't mean to speak for parks, but. Um, well, or if we get bombarded with proposals too. Yes, of course, right. Yeah. All proposals also, which we might. I mean, it's entirely possible. I cannot even believe the interest in the highway department project. I mean, we've booked up two solid days of tours of the building. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable, the interest. So um, anyway, okay, so we talked about the appendix, the cost proposal. We talked about the evaluation criteria, uh, the contract terms. This has been reviewed by town attorney, so I think we're in good shape there. And... Um, yeah, so if this is looking good, then uh, then we'll I'll be quiet and let you guys talk about it. Or make the motion and second it. <laughs> I think it's a great plan. Let's do it. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah, I'm good. Same. Okay, so Jack makes the motion. <laughs> okay. I make the motion. Let's let's do it. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Okay. All right. So we will um, pass this on to the town board, and I'll uh, attach the RFP after making changes so that they have that and can take a look at that uh, along with the motion. Um, and I anticipate that they might pass that motion tomorrow. Now, of course, if they don't, you know, we'll come back to this committee and, and let you know their rationale um, or if they have any reservations. Uh, I believe Pat and I will both be attending tomorrow night's town board meeting and, and could speak to that on the committee's behalf as, as desired. Um, so thank you very much for that. Um, okay. And um, update on Ithaca Trails. Just wanted to let you know that um, we've been uh, corresponding with um, uh, county planning and county GIS uh, have been updating the IthacaTrails.org website. Um, you know, they go periodically through. It was created about, about maybe five, six years ago now. Um, they created that platform, IthacaTrails.org, to show all the trails in Tompkins County. And uh, we're getting ready to do that uh, update. And I pass that on to um, Pat, who may have some some things to chime in on that, but um, we're just essentially trying to help keep it updated. We're just forwarding them as many pictures as we can to update their information. So that's where we're at. Cool. Yeah, they've been really helpful just um, taking the shape files and doing the editing themselves. Uh, so they had a consulting firm working on it, but um, I think they've transferred it all in-house to um, uh, county GIS, so, um, or county planning, I should say. Uh, so 
yeah, it's really nice to have that resource uh, to keep, um, you know, assisting us with um, making sure people know that the trails are available. And it's a nice tool to use out in the fields also, um, if you haven't tried it, uh, give that a whirl. Um, so yeah, so that actually is the end of the agenda, which seems impossible that a meeting could <laughs> Oh my God, that's too short. <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, wait a second. There must be something else to talk about. I'm sure. Very well facilitated. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Paul? Oh, I'm, I, didn't, I didn't say anything. Oh. I was just laughing. Was it Ronnie? It was Ronnie. Yeah. Oh. Just, yeah. You, you can always tell a good facilitator because the meeting ends early. There you go. Okay. And a well done proposal, by the way. That's right. Thank you. All of you really that helped so much. Impressive. And um, yeah, town attorney helped so much and Katrina and Pat, they were all super helpful putting that together. And I really, I think we put together a really nice scope of work and we'll end up with a really nice project in a couple of years. Um, I know that can be daunting, but there'll be, you know, plenty of help in these firms that we're going to reach out to have done these kinds of projects before. Um, I can think of a few off the top of my head that'll be great candidates, and um, I think it'll be a really fun experience too. And um, I know sometimes this has been challenging, um, you know, to work on uh, trail projects. And I think having that kind of leadership and also that kind of objective third party will be useful for all of us in this. So thank you, thank you all for uh, spending time looking mm -hmm. at it and helping develop it. So I'll keep you updated on what happens uh, tomorrow at town board. Um, but otherwise, I think, um, I don't know if somebody wants to make a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All right. Well, we'll be in touch. Well. Awesome. <laughs> it's really wonderful to see you all. Thank Stay you. Bye. Thanks. Stay well. Good afternoon. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon.